Now that we have our needle filled with the double-stranded RNA, it's time to anesthetize the mosquitoes. And we work with uh, CO2. So I have a, a pad, I put it over the cup of mosquitoes to make them fall asleep. We're really interested in what the mosquito has to teach us about combating uh, dengue virus, Zika virus, and malaria parasites. Like how we might get the flu, mosquitoes actually have to become sick first with these things before uh, they can actually transmit the disease. And mosquitoes have a really robust immune system. They have a lot to teach us about the basic biological mechanisms, basic immunological mechanisms of how uh, parasites or viruses are recognized and then neutralized. The larval mosquitoes eat fish food, and that's standard practice in mosquito labs. The implications of our work are, are in, in the beginning, just very basic discovery of how the mosquito defends itself. The mosquito has natural defense systems that we're just starting to really understand that we can hopefully exploit in the future. My laboratory, we work with both malaria mosquitoes and we work with the mosquitoes that uh, transmit dengue and Zika virus. The main thing that we do in the lab is that we disable genes in the mosquito that we've identified through different screening methods and then we challenge the mosquito with virus or with uh, malaria parasites and we see how these genes function uh, and what role they play in defending the mosquito against these uh, diseases. I have my mosquitoes in buffer, they've been washed, and I'm going to collect them into this buffer to extract their RNA to look at their gene expression. For many years we've known that the mosquito microbiome has an essential role in governing whether or not the mosquito becomes infected. And in my lab we've identified a novel way in which the mosquito microbiome is regulated. And it's a signaling pathway that's activated when the mosquito blood feeds. And we're starting to investigate this in our collaboration with Sarah Cherry's lab and the role that it plays in uh, viral transmission for Zika virus and Dengue virus. Penn has been really transformative for my research. So before I came to Penn, my research focused primarily on malaria transmission in Anopheles mosquitoes. And with collaborators here at, uh, through the medical school, we've now uh, started working on arboviruses and uh, Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. You know, I have people come visiting from other institutions and they're always really impressed with you know, the, the, this space and how it's set up and our capability to work with uh, these uh, disease agents.